Hi, uh, welcome back. In the previous video, we heard Dr. Darren Chua tell us that he was studying for medicine and how uh, he suddenly had a stroke at the age of 24 and that sort of dashed his dream and the medical council did not approve, right? Did not approve your application. Uh, was it, do you think it was due to your disability at the time? Um, I think it was very clear from the medical council point of view was that if they were to continue to allow me to be a doctor, they were worried that I wouldn't be able to respond quick enough in an event that's an emergency. Right. And so I understood why they declined my application to continue as houseman. Okay. But of course, um, my dreams was always to be a doctor. Mm. In fact, it was always to be a neurosurgeon. That was all I wanted to be, to be a neurosurgeon, oh, okay. to be able to uh, be an impact and, and help someone's lives through surgery, through right. medicine. And so when I wasn't able to, in a way, to fulfill my, my dream, my destiny, my career of choice, yes. um, I was in a way uh, stuck in limbo. Because yes. here I was thinking, I spent so much of my time studying, so mm. much of my time trying to pursue my dreams, yes. and then it was just dashed and dropped away from me. Okay. And so I spent about maybe about two or three years really just trying to find myself and see, okay, now that I can't be a doctor, what else is it that I want to do? What else is it that I can still do? Right. What else has God blessed me with? Yes. The gifts that I have so that I can still impact people and help people and still be meaningful and, and add to their lives. Okay. And I think that was when I uh, found uh, teaching, learning, tuition. Oh, okay. and that's where I set up Porter's Clay Education. Ah, Porter's Clay, that's right. Education, which was a learning center. Mm. And because um, even though I couldn't be a doctor, I could still impact people through right. education ah. to the youth. Okay. And that's what I've been doing since uh, 2009. Wow, okay. Mm. Uh, during this whole journey of changing your, your dream and your goals, did anybody help you uh, along this way? I think um, many, many people did. I think I wouldn't have been where I am now if, wasn't those, uh, if, if there wasn't people that was always supporting me, encouraging me, and just in a way pushing me forward. Uh, people like my parents, people like my uh, girlfriend who is now my wife, mm. uh, people who are just... Uh, friends and relatives who have always you know, encouraged me and just told me, you know, Darren, you can do it, you can mm. do it, you can do it. And I think it's all this uh, encouragement from people uh, that really pushed me to where I am now. Okay, uh, Darren, I mean, we have been alive on earth for some time, so I know there are positive people and 100% I'm pretty sure there are <laughs> <laughs> negative people, correct? So uh, I don't, don't need to <laughs> name names, but uh, can you tell me what, what some of these negative people said to you and how did that make you feel? Mm. So I think one of the very, very uh, common uh, misconceptions that people have is that when they always tell me that, you know, Darren, are, are you sure you can still do what you want to do? Like, you oh. know, I, I, I would tell friends that, or I tell like even relatives, you know, would say, you know, I want, I, I still want to impact people through education. I want to impact people to, through the sharing of my story as a stroke survivor, mm. someone who can still, you know, despite all the disability that I have. What is more important is the fact that what is it that I have, that what I have still left that's within me mm. that I can still reach out and still bless people with. Right. And I think when I tell people that, people always look at me and say, that, "Are you sure you can still do it? Mm. You can still do this?" And I think a lot of times. Um, we are defined by not what people see of us, but mm. what we see of ourselves. Right. And then through, through that definition, we can then reach out and then bless people who are however we want, mm. however we can. Wow, okay, that, that's very powerful. So there were people who felt that you can't, mm. but instead of letting your abilities be defined by them, that's right. you define your ability. Mm. Okay, that, that's very inspiring, at, at least for me. And um, in the next and final video, we'll hear from Dr. Darren uh, what went through his mind when he decided to write a, a book mm -hmm. uh, to help people and also uh, what's his next step in uh, this year, 2017. Thank, Thank you. you.